So a lot of musicians think that getting good high paying gigs is nearly impossible or at least very hard to come by. But there are some really simple trade secret ways that professional musicians use to get these sort of gigs that almost always work. And in this video, I'm gonna share those ways with you so that you can start getting those good high paying gigs for yourself or your band. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Now, right before we get into this video, if you're a musician looking to make some serious money with passive income, I'm advising all musicians like this to start a YouTube channel today. Right now, YouTube is the biggest opportunity for musicians growth, expansion, gaining fan bases, and to make money. And because of this, I've created the YouTube Quick Start course, which is designed to get you up and running and making money on YouTube YouTube really quickly. And the best part is it's completely free and you can get instant access to it at the link in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. So as I mentioned, there are some really simple ways to get good high paying gigs that you may not have thought of or that you're simply not using that just really work. And it's very unlikely that if you use these methods to get gigs, that you won't at least land a few gigs. And they work so well that they even work if you like live in a small town that doesn't have like a lot of live music, or even if you live in an area with a lot of live music and there's a lot of competition from other bands. These methods still work great. But the thing about these methods is that they take some work. I think a lot of musicians still have this mentality of, you know, I'm a really good musician or I have a great band. And because of that, people should just be looking to hire us. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, my friend, but that's just not how it works. If you want to be able to land those gigs that pay 10, 15, $20,000, and yes, those are absolutely possible, you are going to have to put in some work. And there are ways that you can start using like immediately to start landing these high paying gigs. And the first one is really simple and it's call or email venues regularly. This is so crazy simple and it's such a easy way to get gigs that just really work. The thing about this method is being proactive and not waiting for those calls, not waiting for people to email and call you. It's you being proactive about making them happen. I can't tell you how many times I have personally and you know, the people I coach to do this kind of things have seen results from this. Just by reaching out to venues and club owners and saying, hey, I'm available, I have a band, I'm a musician, I'd like to develop a relationship with you or whatever the case may be. And them responding like, hey, I'm really glad you called. We need somebody tomorrow night, Friday night, Saturday night or whatever. And you know, they're decent high paying gigs. And a lot of them land these gigs and get residencies from them where they start playing at these places regularly. Now, of course, you wanna be prepared a little bit when you have these calls to, you know, send them some social media links of, you know, videos of you performing or your band performing or things like that, or just letting them see what you can do so that they have something to go off. But this is just such a simple way that takes little to no effort to pick up the phone that you probably have already in your hand or get on your computer or whatever the case is and send an email or send a text message. You could do this in five or 10 minutes per day. Now, another way to get these high paying gigs is you wanna start going to other gigs. And what I mean by this is just showing up at other places and other venues where other bands and other musicians are performing on a regular basis. And the purpose of doing this is meeting other musicians and meeting other venue owners and letting them know that you're in the game. And what you wanna be doing while you're there is talking and meeting some of the band members when say they go on break and you know maybe buy them a drink or put some money in their tip jar or whatever just to let them know you appreciate them and stuff like that and when you're talking to them you know let them know hey i play too or hey i have a band too we were looking at this venue or whatever the case may be and we just want to know what you guys think about playing here and how's the venue owner and stuff like that or hey if you guys ever need a keyboard player, a bass player, a drummer, or whatever, here's my number, here's my business card, you can call me. And in addition to talking to the band and the band members, 
you wanna be talking to the promoter or the club owner or the venue owner at the same time and introducing yourself, just saying, hey, I really like your spot. I really like your club, your venue. I like the band. Hey, I have a band too. Here's my business card, just in case you ever need anyone. I will come back. I will check out some other things like this, or you can check out our social media links if you ever need anyone. Can I get your number as well or your email so I can reach out to you? Those type of things, those are the types of relationships that you want to be building in these situations. And this is what gets you again on that playing field and letting people know that you're available. And I can't tell you again from this method alone how many people just, how many calls I personally get just from doing stuff like this over time. Now, another method that you wanna to use to get these high paying gigs that you know professional musicians also use is something that I sort of mentioned already, and that's showing your talent on social media. So in order to get yourself out there and again, get in this game, and you know, be a player in this game, you have to be showing what you can do. You have to be showing a demonstration of your talent, what your band can do, what you can do on social media platforms. But these demonstrations of talent on social media have become sort of like the entry into this world. And it's one of the ways that people are going to look you up, it's going to, you know, help them see what it is that you offer, help them be able to see, is this a band, is this a musician that I can have at my venue? And it's gonna help you out overall. And the ways that you can do this are really simple as well. You could record one of your gigs that you have coming up, you know, just make sure you get some good video and some good audio of it, or even just record a song while you're in your band rehearsal or whatever the case may be. Something that you have that can demonstrate what it is that you provide as an artist or a band. Now, another method that professional musicians use to get these high paying gigs is they use booking agents. So what they do and how you can do this is they look for and reach out to booking agents and make deals with them to have those booking agents get you know these high paying gigs for them. And this is something that's easy to do. You could do a simple Google search on booking agents for bands or booking agents for musicians in your area and see what's available and start reaching out to some of them and make some deals with them. But you could also use somebody that you just simply hired that's you know good with speaking to people or talking to people. Maybe your spouse or one of your family members or something like that, that you could hire, put in place and give them a commission off each gig that they get, hire them to you know reach out to venues and club owners and things like that, the things I already mentioned in this video. Now on the professional booking agent side, of course you kinda wanna have some things in place. Again, you wanna have those social media profiles. You wanna have a professional website where where, you know, they have something to work with when they're, you know, trying to book these high paying gigs, these $10,000, $15,000 gigs. Nobody's paying that kind of money for just some, you know, small band that's, you know, whatever, that doesn't really have anything going for themselves. They want professional bands. So you have to set yourself up as at least having the perception of a good high quality professional band. But getting either one of those types of booking agents is something that's really simple and it's something that you can use to start getting these high paying gigs. Now this last method I wanna share with you is my favorite one and it's one that I still don't understand why a lot of musicians don't do and that is create gigs for yourself. In some sort of way, we've musicians have been fooled or we just haven't seen that we can create opportunities and gigs for ourselves. What happens is we get into this thing and we wait for people to call us like I spoke to earlier and we get into that mode of doing things and we think that that's just how it's supposed to work. So like an example I give of this all the time is you could do something like go to your apartment managers or your homeowners association and pitch like a neighborhood, get to know your neighbors type of thing in your community. And you know, where you're gonna have everybody come to either the apartment complex, you know, room or the homeless only home owners association, you know, whatever they have a venue that they could do this at. And it's like a meet your neighbors thing, you know, where you can do for the community. And then in pitching that, which is something they're probably likely to think about at least, you say, hey, I have a band and I would love for my band to play for this, or I'm a musician, I would love to provide the entertainment for this thing. But of course, in addition to that, you can negotiate money as well. You could also tell them that you wanna, you know, during that performance at this home homeowners association thing, you wanna be able to sell your products, sell your CDs, sell your merch, you wanna be able to put out a tip jar. So you can get all kinds of money from this. 
And then what if you pitch making this a yearly thing or doing it every six months, especially like with apartment complexes with people moving in and out where something like that would be really beneficial, like the get to know your neighbors thing. So now guess what? You've created a gig, you've created an opportunity that you or your band have exclusive access to it because it's you and you do it every six months, you do it every year and it's you know something that you have in the bag. And what happens is these opportunities create other opportunities. Because think about how many people will be at a neighborhood homeowners association's neighborhood party. You know, everybody that lives in this huge community. And it's very likely that at least some of them have something like, oh, hey, I have a wedding coming up for my family member. Hey, let me get your contact information. Or we have a birthday party, or we have this coming up. Can we get your contact information so we can talk about hiring you for those events? So you see how this works? Now also, if you want some more information and a really cool resource for getting high paid gigs, you definitely wanna check out this video right now.